Hi there Aries, thank you for joining me for your March monthly forecast. This month begins with a big emphasis on the zodiac sign of Pisces. In fact, in the first week, there's a, a really sweet connection between Venus and Neptune. This can lead to the most idealistic type of love or self-sacrifice. It also can lead to grand illusions. So if you're uncertain about how to go in one particular alliance, this is basically saying to you, keep your feet on the ground. It's also possible in a more unfortunate way that this could point towards some kind of deceit or an ending. Someone may not be completely honest with you. But with the Sun also forging a terrific link with Pluto in week one, you can also start to formulate some very in-depth understanding of how to take forward your professional situation and someone in a position of influence may even give you some inside track information. From the 6th to the 8th Venus is forging a very sweet link with Mercury suggesting that diplomacy and discretion can certainly be good and also on the 11th there is a new moon in your 12th solar house. Now of all the new moons, this is probably the least positive one to have because it is very much about your psychological situation but on the next day, Mars your ruler pops out of this zone and arrives in Aries itself and this is something really to trumpet. This is also going to be a time when you're going to become much more conscious of anything that you feel is restrictive particularly from the 17th through to the 27th when Uranus uh, is side by side with Mars. Mars is going to be making you very, very shook up around anything that's stifling. And if you have been putting up with a situation and keeping your own counsel while someone's not been behaving particularly well towards you, you might find yourself being much more outspoken in the last phase of this month because Uranus and Mars will both together square up with Pluto which could lead to a lot of politics and then Uranus starts a much longer square to Pluto which is going to last for seven months. In fact this was going on for much of last year and for you there is a psychological thing here where every time you try to be the authentic genuine you you may come up against people who want to put you back in the box that they see you should be in and that really is the dynamic. So if you're struggling to shake off the expectations of a partner, a parent or even a boss, that's what this is about. But with the Sun arriving in your sign on the 20th and Venus on the 22nd, you do get a great opportunity in the latter part of this month to start again around some new projects. There is a full moon on the 27th and it does occur in your opposite sign but this full moon is actually opposite also Venus. So I think it can be quite critical as far as some involvements are concerned. But you're basically saying to people after quite a quiet and sensitive spell earlier in the month, look, take me as I am or I'm off. And it really is as powerful as that. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.